Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. This morning, we are taking the old Mopar to work. Why? Well, a couple things we got to do to it. One is it needs an inspection, and two, we're going to see if we can nail down that tachometer. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're back here at the shop and this afternoon, Tim and I have been tinkering away at the old Mopar trying to figure out what is going on with the tack and we have solved the mystery. Let me show you. So right there is the bulkhead connector. This is where all the wires from inside the car come out and distribute power and what have you throughout uh, the uh, hood compartment. With some help from this 79 Chrysler service manual, we were able to determine that the tachometer was in slot number 35. So when we went to the connector and looked at slot number 35, there was no wire in it, either on this side or on the inside. What I had to do was I ended up having to take apart the dash and unplug the instrument panel to see if there was in fact a wire that plugged in to the dash and there was not which made me remember that back when i initially uh, restored the car the wiring harness inside the vehicle was uh, beat up pretty bad there was some burnt wires there was some chewed wires uh, so i found another wiring harness out of another vehicle put it in here never thought anything of it uh, not realizing that the tack didn't work but nevertheless at the time, I thought it was something under the hood. Unplugged the harness, looked at the pin, there was an empty slot. So, what did we do? We filled that slot with a wire. We're now in the process of running that wire out underneath the hood and we'll grab a tack signal at the coil and we've tested it, the tack works. So, that's where we are with getting the tack to work. By tomorrow sometime, we should have that uh, working and I will do a follow-up later on in this video. So now you guys know that we're going to have a tack uh, working uh, for the dyno test this coming Saturday. So having said that, let's get you an update on some other things around the shop. So the old Honda CRV is back together. It's uh, been up and running out for a test drive and it purrs like a kitten. The head gasket was the problem. We did notice that. Uh, we did confirm that once we got the head gasket out. So let's start her up so you can take a listen. Sounds pretty good for a vehicle that's got uh, 360,000 clicks or 225,000 miles. So because Tim does love doing head gaskets and stuff like that, I encourage you guys, if you have something you want us to work on, bring it out. He'd be more than happy to help you out. <laughs> Keep that video going. What's that? Keep that video going. <laughs> yeah, right. He's grabbing the hose. Well, guys, after a whole lot of standing on our heads underneath the dash of this car, we finally got a tack working. We've got the signal coming off the coil here. And now comes the job of putting everything back together. So I guess this means we are ready for the dyno test on Saturday and we don't have to worry about using that aftermarket. We'll save that for the old grandma. Well, I'm happy to get that tachometer finally working on the old Mopar. The other thing that I did that I didn't show you was I bypassed the AC compressor on the front of the engine. I'm hoping that that will free up a few more horsepower for the dyno pull and help us get up to that goal of where we want to be. So by the time you guys watch this, it's going to be and I want to remind you that the Car Guy and Six Fans show will be on Street Six Fans uh, YouTube channel this week. And I encourage you to head over there. His link is the second one in the description box. And I hope you guys can head over there and check out what we have to offer on the Car Guy and Six Fans show. It's just a lot of fun talking about cars, learning how to grow our channels, and letting you in on a few trade secrets. So having said all that, I hope you guys have a great week. Focus on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.